everybody welcome to elixir 9 digital creations this is my very first tutorial ever so I hope you like it I'm excited to show you some tricks and tips and things that I've learned and these are some things I would have loved to have known when I first got started first off I'm going to start with something exciting like lightning let's do some lightning we're going to be recreating the scene of the digital ghost that I have made for the animation Lost Samurai where he's transporting through a digital tunnel his digital self out into through the cosmos if you haven't seen it check it out <laughs> but the uh, I showed a video at the beginning of what the end result will be and let's get started to start out we'll need to be able to import images as planes so we go up to edit preferences and type in images here. I've already done it. And uh, you see here, import images as planes, activate that, and save preferences. And we're good to go. Bring in a image, shift A, images as planes. Navigate to where the picture of lightning is that you have. It's best to set it up the way it's already transparent but I'll bring one in that isn't transparent and show you how to do that. It's a good trick to know how to do. This is kind of important. We want to figure out how to get its origin point correct. Let's go into material preview. We want the origin point to be where the lightning bolt begins. I'm going to put it there. So what we're going to do is now that we have the origin set, we're going to subdivide it. Bring the cuts up. 7, 8, let's go with 8. Then I want to uh, triangulate the faces. This is just adding more geometry to make the lightning crackle with. I'm going to get rid of some of the excess now. We don't need all of this. We just need the bits with the lightning on it. Delete faces. There we go. Now we want to add a modifier. Add modifier. Displace. Add a new texture to it. New. We want to add noise. And insert a keyframe on the brightness. Let's go back to the beginning of our timeline and insert that keyframe. Want to keep your timeline clean, so let's keep it up uh, at the beginning. There we go. Now you can see it's going up. We want it to go in both directions. So what we do is go back to modifiers. We will duplicate this one. Drop it down to 0.2, so it's not so extreme. And then we'll put this one on negative 0.2. Now it's going in both directions. We hit play and it's crackling and looking looking alive the way lightning does. Pretty awesome. Now we've got that going. We want to make it glow. Go into your shader editor. Let's see if you don't know how to do that. We split the viewport, vertical split. Switch it over to Shader, Editor. This is where things get a little interesting. It took me a while to figure this one out. Add color, brightness, contrast to your image. Gamma and hue saturation. Put contrast at four, bright at two, gamma at three, there we go, we got some glowing lightning. Looks intimidating now. Like dangerous, like it electrocute you. The hue saturation there changes your color. You can change it to any color you like. Well, that's available here. Let's go with yellow. I think that it looks neat right now. It's kind of fiery. Now we want to have, make it transparent. Bring the specular down. The roughness down, sheen tint down, clear coat roughness down. Now we add shader. 
like so. Add another shader, transparent. Put it on the top. I think that's important. <laughs> there we go. Now we can see through it. And it's starting to look good. Let's check it out in render settings. Plug it into the emissions. There it is. Boom. Now we'll have it. I, I don't think I want it coming out of this cube. Okay, let's bring a little bit of the world back in. I had that turned off beforehand. Oh, a handy little thing is to actually bring your light in and match it with the color here. There, now we have some light. Same color as that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this though and add a sphere just because it's going to look a little more interesting. UV sphere, smooth shade it. Let's get this going good. All right, add a particle system. Boom. Switch it from halo in the render, render settings to object. And select your picture of lightning. And switch this to hair. Yeah, there we go. Now it's starting to come together. This is going to be awesome. You're going to love it. And turn this down to, say, 100. And increase the scale. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is going to be cool. Let me put it to 50 for now, just so I can make that a little bit bigger. Some extreme lightning here. Object rotation. Now this is a little fiddly sometimes. Let's see what happens if I apply the control A, apply the rotation. What's going to look best? Let's rotate on the Y. 90. R Y90. Oh wow. Let's see, let's bring it around on the Y again. R Y90 again. There it is. That's that thing. That's what we want right there. Now let's rotate on the X. See if that works. Now this is going to be a little different for everyone. Like this one had uh, the lining was a little off. It wasn't like in the center of the frame. Probably wasn't the best picture to pick, but we'll go through that. We'll run through this one more time. Z. Ooh, that looks interesting. Y. Hmm. And RX. Let's go with RX to start with. Go back to the beginning of your timeline. Enter location rotation scale I. Then bring it forward to 50. RX. Enter location rotation scale R Y. There we go. Enter location rotation scale and R Z. Let's just have it going wild. Enter location rotation and scale. Hit play. We'll add a modifier to the rotations. Cycles. Cycles and cycles. Wow. <laughs> now that's wild. That's looking intense. Let's turn the number down a little bit for a second. See if that looks a little bit cool. <laughs> All right, now just for fun, I'm going to show you. Uh, it is usually best to add another image of lightning. Let's bring in the one that I had that's just a single bolt. Now we add some variety. It doesn't look so uh, uniform. This is one I had already set up that is transparent. We can see how that goes. Bring that up here. And we will run through it one more time real quick so we can get it down. I'm going to want to change the origin point. Let's start with that to where the Lightning begins. There we go. Origin points at the uh, 
start of the lightning bolt. We will add the shaders, color, bright, contrast, gamma, and hue saturation. Plug that into emissions. Bring these down. Make sure the object material settings are correct. None, alpha blend, yeah, we're good to go. Let's turn up our contrast to four, two, gamma three. There we go, we got glowing lightning. I'm gonna switch this over to 0.5, that makes it its default color. There we go. Looks a little more lightning-like now. But I was just showing you that you can change that, and it looks pretty pretty sweet. Set up our particle system again. A new one. From halo to object. The dropper to the lightning. There we go. Switch it to hair. Increase the or select object rotation. Increase the scale. Reduce the number. Let's see what's going to look good. Let's make these ones a little bit smaller. Now this is where you just kind of dial it into what you need, your needs are, and what looks cool to you. You get to use your own artistic kind of uh, eye here, and just have fun with it. That's what this is all about, making something really cool to show other people and it be entertained. Whoa. Alright, let's, now let's add our rotation modifiers, the cycles modifiers to the rotation on this. Going to rotate it on the X90. Let's do that one more time. R, X90. You gotta kind of find what looks good here. Let's reset that. It's good to see the, the, it's all a process of discovery. That's how I figured all this out in the first place. R, Y90. And our X90. Let's go X90 again. Z. Yeah, there we go. RZ90. Undo that. RZ minus 90. Perfect. That's that's what we're gonna want right there. Bring that back on the timeline. Rewind, enter, location, rotation, scale, go to 50, rotate on the X, enter, location, rotation, scale, rotate on the Z a couple times, enter, location, rotation, scale, and rotate on the Y. Go to the cycles modifiers and we'll add the cycles modifier to each of the rotations. Cycles. This makes a repeat throughout the entire timeline indefinitely. Boom. It's amazing. <laughs> you have a fantastical light show. This is step one to learning how to make the scene the digital, digital ghost that we're going to figure out through this tutorial series and there we have it we have our first uh, special effect all right guys I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you go out and make something amazing with it thanks for watching like subscribe and have fun and come back and see the next series where we're gonna learn to, uh, the next phase of this uh, applying this to a character and creating the warp tunnel and we'll also learn how to make the a light, light speed effect and it's going to be fun guys you're going to learn so much you're going to have a great time and you're going to amaze everybody with uh, what you can do here all right thanks thanks guys for watching later